హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు విఎస్పి యూనిటీ యాజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ సెడ్ ఎర్లియర్ విశ్వం కంప్యూటర్స్ ఈజ్ నౌ అసోసియేటెడ్ విత్ విఎస్పి యూనిటీ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ యూ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ కంప్యూటర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఇన్ ఆర్ టూ డేస్ లెక్చర్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్స్ లెట్ మీ క్లియర్ దస్ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్స్ యూజింగ్ సి ప్లస్ ప్లస్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ బిఎస్సి కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ ఆఫ్ థర్డ్ సెమిస్టర్ and in our today's session we are going to discuss about the important questions of each unit in the data structures using c++ now let me continue with the unit 1 where you people are having the important questions like define data structure and explain its type here i have given it for the essay question but a lot of times you people will be getting this question for 7 to 8 marks more. means to say that for long question only but you people will be having a and b part where you people will be getting this question for 7 to 8 marks you people will be having a, a data structures definition and the types of uh, data structures like static ephemeral and you will be having lot of types uh, if you are having any doubt just let me know by your comment so that i'll be discussing it again okay so just go through this particular question so that it is very useful uh, for your subject understanding as well as it is an important question for your 7 to 8 marks for your external okay now let me speak about stat adb operation what is and what are the operations that you could uh, implement onto the stack that is see this um, stack adb operations will be easy while you are going through your book called um, data structures using c++ by varsha h patel okay as per my knowledge it is very easy but if you are going through your material it may take a little time to understand this particular program but it's very easy for stack or else any other data structure you people will be having the operations like creation of data structure insertion element into the data structure and deletion of elements into the data structure and knowing whether it is empty or not knowing whether it is full or not these will be the basic operations that will be there for any data structure okay for stack you need to explain them in detail and you need to go through program i am telling you program is must and should for this particular questions okay and let me go for the next question that is applications of stacks and implementation of stack using array these are two questions actually from this you people will be getting this question as an individual question this question and this question will be having the same answers just compare them so that it will be easy and applications of stack will be coming for four marks as well as i can say seven to six marks i can say but for a short question you people will be receiving the applications of stack just go through them will be having approximately seven to eight uh, important points that need to be mentioned in the applications like converting the infix postfix and recursive functions and you'll be having lot of uh, applications of stacks over there just go through them okay and let me go for the fourth question that is converting infix expression into postfix expression with the example if you are lucky they will be giving you the example if not you should go through your program definitely okay so go for some example and convert that expression into uh, postfix expression and if it is and if it is asked in your question definitely write the program if not you can neglect them but for a lot of time they have asked you to write the program so go through your program also and make sure that you know rules and regulations associated in converting the infix expression into postfix expression a related video will be there in your playlist of data structure in this particular uh, youtube channel so go through them if it is understandable it's okay if not uh, let me know by the comments so that i could make one more video on to this okay that's it for now for this particular question and i'll go for the next question that is the fifth question describe arithmetic expression evaluation with the example how you people will be evaluating the arithmetic expression that you need to explain with this particular point okay this is the fifth question uh let me go for this you close it and i'll go for the next questions that are available from the first unit itself you are having some uh, questions which are related to r stack 
see uh, don't think that these three questions are different this one this one and this one these three questions will be telling you people that to provide the stacks definition and basic operations that you could perform on to the stack okay don't hesitate to write the answer you should read it once and you should answer them for all okay and i'll go for the next question that is explain reversing of a string with a example means to say that how you people will be reversing a string by using the stack simple ma in a stack you people will be putting the um, number of letters that you are having and you people will be popping out while you are popping out it will be doing it in reverse order no however your stack will be following first in last out structure so that you people will, will be easily reversing the string this question has been asked in the last paper so it may come for now also okay so just go through it it's very easy for you people this will be the last program in your material so it is it will be very easy while you are going through this particular program also okay and these are the important questions in your first unit okay let me go for second unit in the second unit you people are having six to seven important questions from your second unit let me discuss them one by one what is recursion and explain how recursions are executed with the example see we haven't went for queues right now recursion will also be implemented by your stack itself how the recursion operations will be executed while you are using the stacks that you need to explain with the example like finding the factorial or else fibonacci series is what are the thing the basic operation that you have learnt in c language you know the recursion or else in c++ also you might have come across with the recursion function that you need to explain but with the help of stack you need to do it that's it okay just compare with the previous semester's uh, recursion topic so that it will be very easy for you people okay and the next question that you are having is what is q explain q adt operations with a suitable example program means to say that they want you to write the program in this question if they are asking the program to be written just mention it if not you people are not going to get the marks okay and it's very simple program as i already told you people that this will be easy in your book when i am comparing with your material uh, so you need to explain how queue will be created and how you people will be checking whether the queue is empty or not whether the queue is full or not and how you people will be inserting the element how you people will be deleting the element all this should be mentioned in this particular answer okay do remember that the queue will be following the first in first out passion okay and this will be the basic definitions and the operation that you need to explain in this particular uh, question okay and the next question that you are having it what is double ended queue and explain in detail double ended queue is nothing but uh, if you if you are maintaining the queue you people could insert the element from one end you people could delete the elements from one and this is the basic structure of your queue means to say that you people will be having first in first out passion but here in double ended queue you people will be having both the end points which will be acting like a rear and front you people could insert the element from both the ends you people could delete the elements from both the ends that is called as double ended queue go through them detail in detail so that it will be very easy for you people okay and last time they have asked this question and along with that the last time they have asked you to explain the circular queue along with the program i am telling you along with the program so go through your circular queue program it's very very easy but it is lengthy i know that it is lengthy but it is easy to understand and just go through them explain circular queue with the example and how this algorithm will be written if they are asking you to write the algorithm you people could explain them in an oral manner also but if they are asking you to write the program then you need to mention the program okay and this is the half of the part half of the part of your unit 2 and remaining half of the part will be consisting of linked list okay single linked list what is single linked list how insertion deletion and 
remaining operations will be performed onto the linked list that you need to explain into this particular topic and you need to write the program exactly what you have learnt in the lab programming or else whatever the program that you are having in your notes okay and sometimes actually they will be giving you this question for sure but sometimes they have asked you the next question also that is double linked list doubly linked list how the linked list can be double linked list and how you people will be inserting the element deleting the element you should explain them with the example okay that will become your doubly linked list okay how you people will be taking the head node how you people will be taking the tail node from which and you people will be inserting the element from which and you people will be deleting the elements all these should be explained in this okay and the last question that you are having from your second unit is describe the linked list implementation of stacks and queues simply i can say these will be three questions like applications of queue applications of stack applications of linked list this may ask for short questions just go through them so that it will be easy for you people okay this will be there in your material just go through them they will be having approximately 6 to 7 points they are very easy and sometimes when they are asking you about the uh, applications of queues you people will be having different kind of issues to be discussed just like josephus problem job scheduling simulation okay that you need to explain them here okay and uh, this is your second unit now let me go for the third unit where you people will be discussing about the trees okay now i'll close this now i'll go for the third unit in the third unit you people will be having the discussion about the trees i can say okay the first and foremost important question is how you people will be traversing the trees okay in order traversals post order traversals and pre order traversals will be there that you should explain them with the neat example i can say how you people will be doing them with the binary trees with the example but before reading anything just try to understand the definition of trees and types of trees that are available terms are associated with the trees so that you people could answer them easily if not you people will be not understanding this okay my suggestion is to go for the definition and then terms associated with trees and then go for your traversing techniques okay and this is the first question and the next question that you are having is define binary tree and explain its application how you people will be using this binary trees in your real life and how you people will be using them in the programming that is what the applications okay and implementation of a binary tree how various implementations will be there that you need to explain them in detail about the binary trees okay and here the next question next important question i could say and the question that has been uh, given for lot of times is your binary search tree what is binary search tree and explain the algorithm how to insert means to say that the adt operation that you could perform onto this binary search tree what is binary search tree that you need to understand first and then you should decide uh, what are the operation that need to be performed onto this and this is the one most important question and the first important question is this okay you people will get uh, uh, both of them and you people will be getting the applications and implementations also but uh, it may come for 6 to 7 8 marks okay you will be having the choices but if you are getting these two questions that is binary search and tree traverses definitely you people will be getting for the long question okay let me clear this and explain linear search and binary search with the algorithm and explain them neatly i could expect this binary search linear search they may ask they may not ask if they are asking you people to explain with the example it's with it will be easy for you people and dividing them mind going through right going through left it will become easy but when they are asking you to write the program it may become little difficult but go through your program definitely when you are writing the program you people will be getting the good marks okay these are the searching techniques i can say and as i already told you people you people are having lot of lot of lot of options that can be given from your third unit that is sorting technique and searching technique 
these are the two searching techniques as we have done but sorting techniques we are having like insertion sort selection sort bubble sort and you people will be having quick sort merge sort you people will be having lot of options over here they can ask any one of them so you need to go through each and every technique of your sortings okay i can expect from these three that is insertion sort selection sort bubble sort from these three you people could get one but definitely from this quick sort and merge sort you people will be getting at least one quick sort or merge sort okay so just try to learn the techniques that has to be implemented in the sorting techniques i can say you need to cover them into the one page so that you people will be planning the techniques that need to be written in the different techniques i can say means to say that insertion selection and bubble sort can be compared and the logics will be different in them the remaining part will be the same one okay but quick sort and merge sort will be having different techniques where they will be following the divide and conquer method so that need to be learned in a uh, different way i can say it will be taking a little bit of time but you could okay and the last question that you are having is difference and complexities among various sorting technique as we have discussed the data structure will be comparing each and every technique each and every part of your data structure with the time complexity and space complexity for each and every technique sorting technique you people will be having the time complexity that, is, that need to be compared they may ask they may not ask but for definitely for your competitive examinations they will be asking you to mention the time complexity of each sorting technique and searching technique also so go through them just do remember them okay make a table so that it will be easy for you people okay this is your third unit it is lengthy but not a definitely a complex one okay it may take time but you people could learn them okay and now i'll go for the fourth unit where you people will be discussing about the graphs see here different types of tree uh, of your trees and graphs graph traverses will be of tfs and dfs but uh, uh, when you are going for trees you people will be having in order post order and um, in order post order and pre order traverses i can say okay and the next technique that you are having is next question that you are having in your fourth unit is spanning tree what is spanning tree and how you people will be getting the minimum spanning tree by using the criskels and prims algorithm from both of the technique they may ask one they may ask you to write the program also but lot of time they ask you to explain the criskels algorithm prims algorithm with the example they haven't asked you to write the program but there is a chance okay so you need to go through your examples make sure that you are giving the good example in order to make a criskels spanning tree or prims spanning tree okay from this if you are perfect you people may get one question from it okay and the remaining half of the part is heap sort you people might have come across to the last topic that is heap sort it is very important topic okay they may ask you this question uh, what is heap sort and how you people will be implementing the operations okay and maximum heaping and minimum heaping heapify technique you people will be having lot of issues to discuss over there okay 
explain different type of functions and explain each function in detail hashing functions there are lot of hashing functions you could explain in your own way like dividing with 10 modulo divided by 10 plus 1 modulo divided by k double hashing middle hashing folding hashing you people are having different kind of technique that need to be explained in this particular answer and the last question that you are having is heap ADT operations what you could perform onto the heap data structure that you need to explain in this these are the important questions from your fourth unit I can say you could expect a seven to eight questions from your uh, fourth unit and basic things that you need to learn here is you need to learn about the terms and uh, terminology that is associated with the trees and graphs because while you are going for the topics you need to understand what should be there in your um, topic okay and here i can explain you that a data structure using c plus plus important questions will be covered up to this for your essay question mm -hmm. but four marks questions you could expect any topic for your four marks for that reason i'm not giving you any four marks question just go through all the four marks questions that you are having in your notes or material i can say okay that's it for now if you are having any doubts just let me know by your comments so that i could answer you with a different kind of videos um i hope so you people are clear with the all topics if you are having any doubts just let me know by the comments so that i could make one more video onto it so that it will be useful for you okay that's it for now if you are subscribed it's okay let your friends to subscribe this particular channel if it is useful like and share this video those who are in need okay that's it subscribe the channel thank you for watching